on the subscribe button and press on the bell icon to watch my all new videos. All right, my dear, this is Ujjal Kumar Sen, and you're watching Ujjal Kumar Sen YouTube channel. So today in this tutorial, you are going to learn about uh, what differential manometer. I mean, yes, uh, there are two types of differential manometer. Basically, we have said till now. One is uh, uh, what another. It is in front of you. That is uh, inverted YouTube differential manometer. Another one is what we have already studied about that. That is YouTube differential manometer. Right. So basic difference between inverted one with the non-inverted one is that here we have to use light liquid instead of mercury. Mercury is heavy liquid. All right. So remember that thing and uh, and other things. What I would like to share with those are really simple and you can easily understand whenever I will share with your diagram. One most important thing is that uh, this topic is really important for numerical perspectives. So stay tuned and keep watching what I am doing right now. I'm just going to draw to a uh, cross section of two two pipes. Okay, so it's circular cross section. That means uh, circular pipe, and uh, I'm going to connect with uh, a YouTube. It's a YouTube manometer. Okay, inverted because it it is uh, it is just uh, just opposite, right? I mean, it's just I'm just changing the position. That U shape will be on top. That's why it is known as inverted YouTube differential manometer. As I have already shared with you, in case of differential manometer, we have to find out difference between two points of two pipes. That's why it is known as differential manometer. So it is here we have a point that is B, and here we have a point that is A. So we have to use another. I mean, we have to use different liquids, right? <clears throat> so here we have some uh, any liquid which having something. I mean, uh, different different uh, different density, and for at for. Pipe A, it is having also different density, right? But in this case, we have to use what light liquid. I have already shared with you, and let's say this will come to this, I mean this this position, right? Now we wanted to give name. This one is B, and this one is A. So at B, we want to find uh, the difference between B point V and point A pressure. We wanted to find out. Let's say this is X X. This is a reference line, and here we have con we have what light liquid. Remember this thing. This is really important. That's why. Why? Because like light liquid will be on the top, right? Because density. If something having density more density, it will be on the bottom. If something having less density, that means it will be on the top. A simple concept. As simple as that. So for finding out pressure difference at point B and point A, we need to what do? We need to do. Uh, we need to do what? We need to just follow the equation. And for writing writing down equation, we have to uh, write down some you know some language, right? So here is uh, here is that. So what is that pressure in the left line? Pressure in the left line below axis. Yeah, you need to remember this below axis and pressure in the right line below axis. So pressure both should be equal. Right line and left line. So first we have to do it left line. Then we'll do what right right line. We have, we have to just do one thing. We have to write the equation. So what is the equation for pressure in the left line? Most important thing. What I am going to do right now that is really important. Just try to understand what I will write. Okay. So here you go. Pressure at B. Let's say P V. Now in the other manometer we are having U. U shape on the bottom. Now on the top, because of that, what we have to do? We have to use minus sign. Okay. Density of liquid, let's say one. This side, let's say one, and this side, let's say two. G H. Let's say from height here to here, its height is what H. So from this, we can write the equation as I have written below. Is equal to. P A pressure at point A minus because of this light liquid density of light liquid G and height let's say from here to here is H1 so G H1 again another liquid we are having from here to here let's say this is what H2 let's say this is H2 so minus rho 2 G H2 So what we have to do? We have to just rearrange the equation. Then we'll get the final answer. What exactly we wanted to do in this what in this tutorial? So P B minus P A is equal to 
रो वन जी एच माइनस रो एल जी एच वन माइनस रो टू जी एच टू सो दिस इज द फाइनल इक्वेशन वी कॉट इन केस ऑफ इन्वर्टेड यूट्यूब डिफरेंशियल मेनोमीटर और राइट सो आई सजेस्ट टू डू वन थिंग जस्ट डू वन थिंग वट ड्रॉ द डायग्राम एंड वट आई हैव डन डू इट योर सेल्फ फॉर प्रैक्टिस दैट्स वाई यू विल नॉट हैजिटेट टू राइट इन द एग्जामिनेशन वेर एवर मे बी कम्पिटिव एग्जामिनेशन डू सम कम्पिटिव एग्जामिनेशन